Hi, I'm James, and today I'm taking a look at a couple products sent to us by aquatuning.co.uk. Uh, first of all, we're looking at the Phobia CPU and GPU cleaning kit, and then the Phobia Nano Grease Extreme Thermal Compound. So this is my um, test rig. It's a i7-970 system, which we're using for testing cooling performance today. And first of all, as this already has thermal compound applied, we're going to try out the Phobia CPU and GPU cleaning compound. Um, so to clean up the processor, we're going to apply some of this to a piece of kitchen roll. Uh, these are identical bits. One we're going to try dry, the other with cleaning compound already applied to it. And then we're just going to see how this compares with just how well we can clean the chip and get it ready for applying the new paste. So here we have the dry um, kitchen roll and you can see we take a couple effort goes here and we're yeah, a few wipes, a few hard presses and you'll get most of it off um, but really to get a good clean on it, get it ready for the new thermal paste you want a very sort of very smooth clean surface. So now if we try with the cleaning kit we can see it takes a lot less effort to wipe here and it's getting a lot more off. You can see on that left hand side it's a lot smoother and shinier. And then if we just finish cleaning it up here and up close we can see we're getting a nice clean shiny finish ready for the new thermal paste to apply. And it, it's, it feels nice and smooth to the touch. So now we're ready to try the Phobia Nano Grease Extreme. Uh, this comes in a three and a half gram tube. Uh, they also do some more basic compounds, but this is their sort of high end one. Uh, it comes with the tube and also a little applicator. And it's quite nice. You've got a screw on cap, which makes it quite easy to fit and remove the cap. So uh, we just applied quite a bit to this as it's a large chip, the um, LGA 1366 i7-970, so it's a six core chip, big socket. So we spread that over to get a nice thin layer. I'm sorry it's not the uh, the most perfect job, but it's quite hard to do when you're filming as well. And then to test this, we ran both at stock speeds and then four gigahertz with Prime95 measuring CPU speed and temperatures in HW monitor, and we compared this with both the Arctic Silver 5 that I generally use and the Phobia Nano Grease Extreme. Um, we can see it's stock speeds 3.2 GHz, um, 130 watt chip. We're not seeing really any variance in temperature. However, going up to 4 GHz, we can see there's a degree less on idle and 2 degrees less at full load. Um, this could be, you know, down to difference in the com compound it could just be a bit of variance in our testing um, I get the impression that with this you're going to have to push further than perhaps a fairly modest overclock to really see the benefits of this compound this may be something that's really more of interest to people pushing with say a high-end phase change or uh, liquid nitrogen cooling solutions as opposed to my air cooler here um, you may see some benefits with sort of larger water-cooled systems as well. Um, as it is with the pricing compared to a small tube of Arctic Silver, you're looking I think uh, around about sort of 50% increase in price. So if you're looking at air cooling, you may not be able to justify that difference in cost. But uh, the cleaning kit I definitely recommend I'll be using that in future myself as it makes cleaning the processor a lot easier and you get a much better finish to it. I was using it all between my testing here. Um, with, the ex with the thermal compound, perhaps something to try if you're in more extreme overclocker. Otherwise, it's perhaps questionable value overall. Um, I hope you found this interesting and useful and be sure to take a look at these products on the AquaTuning website with the links included here.